This is a painting of my father's that I'm thinking about um, embellishing. It's uh, look, look at how much movement is in here. Jeez, he is just flying. As far as my dad's painting goes, it's really hard to pick one to paint over. And then I see his wildness. I, I see the character of the person. Um, unless you knew my dad, you, you know his lack of patience and sometimes he would just it was very rare for him to do a soft painting so you can see how wildly these are slammed on here and and spec 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 you know squirt slap that was dad you either like that style or you don't he didn't do it all the time but sometimes you just have to get your feelings out Sometimes he didn't do it to do a finished painting. This this was never stretched. I know that Dad used to paint so much that the whole painting would turn black because he was never satisfied, couldn't tell when it was finished, and it was more of the act of painting than a finished piece. It's always a thrill and, and a horror, the horror, at the same time. So I did pick this one of Dad's. I am going to use very deep tones over it. The thought of a father and son painting is always exciting. But the most scary thing is I don't want to screw it up. And if I screw it up, it's going to end up in the garbage, which is a sad thought. But if you don't go for it, who knows what this could be? It could be fantastic. At the same time, to do something like this, I have to be amped. I have to just be on fire which I am right now. I'm I'm like totally stoked, ready to eat lightning and crack the <laughs> Maybe that's not the best way to say it, but but um, you know I'm serious. <laughs> Try not to let you down, dad. See what we could do together, father and son. Let's let's give it a go.
Hello folks, Paul Alexander reporting for Hardcore Artist News. Today, insanity. Weather's going nuts. Anyway, this is where we are right now. A lot of adaptation and adapting to certain situations uh, as the paint flows across the painting. You can still see my dad's stuff here and there and all the new stuff as well. Uh, we're going to stretch this painting. It is not stretched. You will lose four inches all the way around. So eight inches total on the height, eight inches total on the width. So your painting becomes a eh, kind of a lot smaller. If you're not used to that, well, welcome to the world of painting. This is what happens. So keep your important stuff at least six inches to eight inches in from the edges start to fade out and dissolve as you as you go out that way you don't lose anything important keep your arms and feet in the vehicle at all times or you know <laughs> but we are going to do that later on i'm showing it to you right now it's maybe 90 percent and when we get uh it stretched then the details will come in. These are the final details. This is what really makes the, the juice of the painting. You can bring the eye down or, or to the right or left or up or shift it, depending on these details. I don't know the details until it is wrapped. At that point, there's not much to go by. The painting sort of talks to you. It reveals things to you saying, hey, I'm a little weak in this area or over here. You know, my big brother down there is getting all the attention. Why don't we do something over here? But without going off the canvas, because of course it's all based upon composition. Your composition has to be, you know, right on the money. Until then, let's see what happens. <laughs> 